When I first met Charles Vigliotti, we had numerous meetings with community members, with the DEC officials about some of the impacts the community felt that they were experiencing due to the Long Island compost. A lot of odor with compost, a lot of dust, some noise, and other impacts. We also presented the Vigliottis with the technology for anaerobic digestion, which is a process where you would have an enclosed facility as opposed to an open air facility. What we are intending to do is take food waste from supermarkets, catering halls, restaurants, hospitals, take it in, pull the food, build an anaerobic digester that will take that in feed, recycle it in such a way that the gas that naturally is given off by decomposing food waste will be captured, we'll create our own power plant, we'll use the power to handle the parasitic load of the plant itself with the rest of the power entering the grid as clean renewable energy. The non-digestibles we're going to recycle. So Long Island and the region will produce now a fraction of the tonnage of true waste out of the food waste that it did before. The community went from being very displeased with what was there with very pleased with what is now proposed. If you early on bring in all the stakeholders, including your neighbors, that you in the end wind up with a better project. The uh, anaerobic digester will serve a critical role, not only for the Yapan community to stop odors and dust and noise, but also it's gonna serve a critical role helping to solve Long Island solid waste management challenges. So it really is a tremendous victory, I think for the business, for the public, and for the environment.